Hey guys, Knoopsy here, and this is the iPod. The iPod was one of Apple's most important and influential products to date, and almost 15 years later, in this video, we're going to be taking a look at how this device fares now. This is not the very first generation of the iPod, but the second version that came out almost a year later. This version had small improvements like more storage, Windows support, and a touch wheel instead of a scroll wheel. Moving on to the design, the iPod was both very simple in its hardware and software. Other MP3 players of the time were ugly and hard to use, but the iPod changed all this with a simple, playful design and easy to use software. Taking a look at the hardware, you can see all of the classic elements such as the boxy shape, the iconic wheel at the front, and the easily scratchable chromed out backplate. You can see here just how thick this iPod was, and that's because Apple actually used small hard drives inside. If you listen closely sometimes, you can even hear the hard drive spinning up. The hard drive, however, was ditched in later models as it did have a tendency to skip and fail over time. And compared to the body of the iPhone 6 Plus, you can see just how thin things have become over the last 15 years. The wheel on the iPod was there to make navigation between various tracks and menus extremely easy and precise, and accompanied by a center click button, menu button, forward and back button, as well as a play and pause button, just about anybody could figure out how to use it. The design of the iPod surprised many people during a time when ugly and complicated looking MP3 players roamed the world, and now the design is an iconic and well recognizable symbol. Moving on to software, to put the music on your iPod from your computer, you'd have to plug it in using a Firewire cable, which actually charged your device while it was syncing it. Moving music to the iPod was, and still is, a quick process by our standards, and during the time, it was a major selling point. Once the music is on, it still sounds great, and so far, my iPod has not started skipping at all. The actual software on the device was very simple as well, and made things very easy to use and find. All of your songs, artists, genres, and more were in a music section, while other sections like extras housed the classic Brick Breaker style game, a clock, contacts, and a calendar. You couldn't do much on this iPod, as music was the front and center focus, but this has all pretty much changed now as displayed by Apple's newer iPods. Overall, this iPod is still quite usable today and still packs enough space to put all my music on it, and is a great way to look back at what came before our much more advanced smartphones. With the iPod slowly fading away, it makes us wonder, what is coming next? Maybe something like Sony's new Walkman, or maybe something with a huge amount of storage. Only time will tell. In conclusion, this has been my look back at one of Apple's most important products ever, the iPod. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like down below, comment any thoughts you have on what the next iPod may be, and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you for watching.